Hello everyone, welcome back to Richmond Guides. I am enjoying this Colorado atmosphere and I wanted to see one of the natural things here. Um, it's on the religious side. Um, it's the Mother Caprini Shrine, but I'm just gonna show you guys it. So I'm gonna flip it around so that we can go and take a look. So one thing I wanna show you guys before we head up to the top of the mountain is how far we're actually heading up. All the way up there, you can probably see a statue once I move over. That That is where we head all the way up. So that is a decent hike, but we'll see you guys at the top. So here at the Mother Cabrini Shrine, at least it's up on the hill, they actually have the Stations of the Cross here. And it's just a gorgeous place to come see. Now, for those of you who do not know what the Stations of the Cross are, it's the 14 stages of which Jesus was crucified on the cross on Good Friday. So it starts with the first stage being Jesus is condemned to death by Pontius Pilate. And then it moves on. But if you notice out here, all the, the atmosphere is just gorgeous. It, the temperature is just amazing. Here's the second one. So Jesus is given his cross at that time. And just continues on. And then the third is he falls for the first time. Something else I want to show you guys. They actually, if you want to count your steps, they do have the step numbers here. So this is step 50 right here. Step 50. But yeah. I just love the environment here. If you can hear crickets and all that. Here's the fourth station where Jesus is meeting his mother Mary. And this is all a memorial too. Different gifts and stuff from different families just to upkeep this place. And then the fifth stage, Jesus is helped by Simon. And if you can see, we're not even at the top yet. And the view is just, it's amazing here. So. And then Jesus meets a woman, Veronica where his face is then implanted on a, a cloth. Now for some people this is going to be a tough climb because if you're from Florida like me, the air is very thin. We've reached 100 steps. And reaching 100 steps, we reach Jesus falling for the second time. And then Jesus speaks to a different woman. And then nine, Jesus falls for the third time. And here at stage 10, Jesus is stripped of his garments and clothes. And we just have a beautiful view here. Even though there's a haze, it's still beautiful. But we continue on with station 11, Jesus being nailed to the cross. I just love the environment here. Station 12, Jesus eventually dies on the cross. And then He's taken down from the cross at stage 13. And in stage 14, he is placed in his tomb. Now most stations of the cross end here at 14. However, here they do have 15 stages. 
which some people recognize but others do not. And this 15th stage is when he rises, rises from the dead, the resurrection. Now there's a little bit more of a ways up to the top to see the shrine, but I just wanted to take a break here. One, because I am Floridian and it's tough to breathe up here, but two, that view is just amazing. Now, if it wasn't as cloudy, you'd be able to see for even more miles further and further. So it's kind of tough to see on the video here, but right there, that's the city of Denver, downtown Denver. And it's just gorgeous up here past step 250. It's just gorgeous view. Hopefully my post edits will be able to show you the downtown a little bit better. And there's the main church for St. Francis of Caprini. Top of the shrine. There's a gorgeous view up here. And again, we've got downtown Denver right here. And all the Denver suburbs all around it. It's just gorgeous. Here on the other side, you can see some of the mountains. Like in the back, you can see some of the snow-capped mountains that are still snow-capped. It's just gorgeous. Barely peeking up over the hills. Now something else that they have here is, looks like it's the Ten Commandments. And this is amazing. A very well done artwork out of stone. Thou sh shall not covet thy neighbor's wife. Number nine. Thou shall not covet thy neighbor's goods. Number ten. But this is just gorgeous artwork that they did setting this up. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not kill. Honor thy mother and thy father. I said it backwards, but still. Remember to keep the holy on the Sabbath day. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord in vain. Thou shalt not have strange gods before me. And the start of the Ten Commandments. So the Latin up there at the top of the, not memorial, but uh, shrine, at the top of the shrine, is in essence saying when St. Francis Cabrini was anointed as a saint in 1912. That's the basis of it. If you want to do the translation yourself, I did it, but trying to remember the whole thing is kind of tough because I don't speak Latin, I don't read Latin, but Google Translate helped me. And it's just a gorgeous view up here. It was amazing to see this because having a little bit of a Catholic background, it's just amazing to see some of the stuff of virtue like here and i just wanted to show you guys that while i was out here in colorado because it's just a gorgeous place to be 
and it's something that you can see for yourself how people just are there in themselves so I'm gonna head down to the bottom of this trail and I'm gonna show you guys what's at the bottom of the trail so hang on one second so down here at the bottom they do have a little memorial down here and then they also have one at the top of the mountain up there that you guys can take a look at when you're here and it's just a gorgeous place here with the actual church on the other side of the trees here and then just the whole environment here just amazing i'm glad i came out here so i hope you guys enjoyed this short little video of showing uh cabrini shrine i know that it wasn't very long and it may have been a little bit on the boring side but it's just something to see some of the nature out here in colorado i don't have a lot of time out here to see all of colorado but something I would suggest for you guys is to come out here take a look at it whenever you guys can um, but I'm gonna leave that here with the Cabrini Shrine at the top behind me and just a couple different reminders down below hit the subscribe button so that you can be part of here and support the channel hit the bell notification in order to know when our videos come out also find us on Facebook find us on Twitter like the page follow the Twitter account and then you can also support us on Patreon or you can support me on PayPal. Just look at the in the description down below. But other than that, I'm going to leave us here and I'll see you guys in the next adventure.